Dr. Ruby Payne, before you quit teaching, I got a job teaching in a high school and I had a principal who was basically non-supportive. He was there, but not supportive and colleagues who were a mixed level of support. But I was very fortunate that second or third year of teaching because I had a system principal who became a mentor to me and two or three other teachers on the ninth grade English team. And he actually taught me how to teach. One of the things that he did is he had us agree upon a common unit and then we all taught that unit and we all used the same assessment. Well, there was a woman in our department named Kate and she would taught for several years. She was actually a master teacher and her score on her lowest paper was better than my score on my highest paper. Well, I said, you have better kids than I do. And she looked at me and she said, I've got Roger. You want Roger? Well, I knew Roger and I didn't particularly want him. And then I got thinking about who she actually had and realized that no, actually she did not have better students. That's when I decided I'm gonna learn what she knows and how to teach and made all the difference in my life. In fact, the research is if you don't have a, a mentor in your career in your 20s, it's a developmental handicap for your whole career. So one of the things that I'm gonna to recommend to you is to find a mentor, find an excellent teacher with whom you can begin a conversation. So as you look at this book, I'll say this to you. If I could do it, you could do it. So I'd like to give you some information and some tools I wish I'd had before I ever started teaching. Yeah.